everyone! Welcome back once again. I'm Gwendolyn. We are on Season 17, Episode 15, which is the first part of a three-part series of Like a Tello, which I'm very excited and very nervous to watch. Coming up. Coming up. She has the voice for it. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I am well. Three feet or six feet above ground. Oh, this is still the intro. When Cody says and thinks that type of stuff... Because the relationships aren't good. It usually happens. That's a lie. Stop doing that! Christine's never gonna love you. They handed him to me. What is happening? Is Robin the favorite wife? What's the answer? We've been separated for several months. What? What? Yes, we were separated. I didn't know they admitted this on the show. Anyway, I'm headed to town, basically to sit down and talk about my past. There's some pretty harsh things said in one-on-one -on -one interviews that would not otherwise. I think Suki tries really hard to figure out the truth. So these are definitely more raw, more real. So some of the hardest parts of my whole entire life is what we're going to be talking about. Oh yeah, this is different. They're doing it separately. That's deep. I've spent the past year reflecting on what's been going on, yeah. so I don't know if you're going to draw out anything to me that I haven't thought of yet. To be determined. You know that I'm just going to spill it all anyway. What happens when you sit on the couch is a thing. You really just do spill. Well, let's talk about you and Christine. And this conversation, I feel, was the first time that you both really decided to talk honestly about where you stand. Christine was completely decided. And where were you? In denial. Why are you insisting on holding on to me? Whoa. <laughs> I love that for you. Whoa. You're blaming me for me being turned off by your behavior. We've all seen this. Are they just, is it like all just going to be a bunch of back scenes and then we re the adults react on it? Because they already did. It's true. We married under circumstances that were not romantic. They were for me. I'm reacting to my parents reacting to their divorce. That's so deep. I'm not interested in intimate marriage with you anymore. Yeah, get divorced. Oh, they already, they've done that. Yeah, marriage sucks. Yeah, marriage sucks. You still have three other wives. Apparently not. No, I don't want marriage. That's what she was trying to say the whole time. Oh god. We've all already seen this. I like want to skip to the part where they react to it so bad. Just like ask the questions. My issue was is I thought Christine was playing a game. Okay, finally. Because she's a game player. Um, manipulation, pouting, temper tantrums, just behavior things. What? Where did this come from? I was trying to reconcile with Mary. Christine lost her that day. She comes to a family party yelling to one of the kids that she was in a loveless marriage. Whoa. He's been doing his research. Because there is something wrong between Mary and Christine. Well, I don't think that that should have even been brought up. Like, I thought that that was really not cool. Of Cody? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a them thing. No husband should ever compare one wife to the other. I think he was saying, like, why can't you just play along like Mary? I have played along for a really long time, and it's, like, hurting my soul. Why isn't there an openness to talk? Because the relationships aren't good. That's, it's that simple. This is the one thing everybody keeps missing here. Yeah. They keep comparing. You're the one that's doing that. Every relationship is it grows and develops, functions, good or not. All of them need to end, in my opinion. I feel like if you lost the intimacy in your relationship, would you still be okay? No. Oh yeah, I'd march his butt into a therapist so fast. We're going to work this stuff through. That's good. That's healthy. And how do you force somebody to be attracted to you? Um, you don't. His attraction is based on that person's behavior. I watched him. He's upset with a wife, and then that wife turns a new leaf, supportive and kind and stuff like that, and he just melts. I just, I don't even know what he's, his point is, her point is right now, because this is, but their, their relationship is over. Where are the hard-hitting questions? None of this is, like, exciting. Do you believe the lack of attraction is an excuse just for your bad behavior, or... I don't know, but that statement just made me mad. Really? Yes! Yes! I'm not a child. Yeah. I'm your wife. She said, I'm a big kid. That's just rude and belittling. Stop fighting for something that your ego is attached to. Damn, she's full of insults today. A bad marriage is a bad marriage. Everybody expects you to just go and figure it out. What if a marriage just isn't fixable? So this is where she was ballsy enough to just go, Hey, Cody, I'm out. Is he on her side when he says that? And I was like, I don't want to be a quitter. And she's going, well, you're a coward. I'm not a coward. Nothing scares me but poverty. Damn. Poverty. Why did it take you so long to accept that this is over? Because it didn't feel like it had to be over. We're talking about the destruction of this whole family bond. Ooh, that was deep. Um, except that also it wasn't. It, like, nothing big happened. Like, it felt like they would hit something and then back off really quickly and hit something and back off and like why didn't she ask about the 
poverty thing. I feel like that's a pretty big point that poverty is his biggest fear. When all the sister wives sit down and you start having this conversation about divorce, did you know at that point that there was a huge separation that was going to take place? I have these hopes and these dreams and, um... Oh no. I feel bad for her every time she starts to cry because obviously she doesn't want to. So your reaction in this clip is that living in that hope space. Yeah. Okay, let's yeah. watch the clip. Okay, I was about to say, where's the clip? I've decided to leave. It's giving girl boss. Am I still a sister wife? No. Are you guys uh, sure? I mean, like, that's what's so weird. It's like, are you guys sure? Yeah. Each one of us made a commitment to each other. Damn. Mary seems like very against that statement. I'm going to be the head of my household again. If everybody's willing to conform to patriarchy again, I guess. Yeah, I didn't know I'd signed up for patriarchy. Yeah. That's not what we all agreed on in the very beginning. Chanel did sign up for patriarchy. I probably made this point before. When you marry multiple women, there's it's not going to be a patriarchy. Especially if you're not going to be, like, there. So is Christine still your sister wife? Oh my head, she is. Really? She told me she doesn't want a relationship with me, so that's been horrible and hard. Also, she didn't say that she doesn't explicitly not want a relationship with her. She just said that she needs a second to breathe. How did that hit? Where did that hit? Um... There are so many, like, scenes that are kind of useless in this. I want, I want more of the grit. Give me the grit. I always thought that eventually Christine would open herself up to me. And just getting that sisterhood that we saw some of these older women in our church have. Mm -hmm. and Do you feel like Christine robbed you of that? Yes, she took it away. Damn, that's a big line. Okay, here's the grit. And then <laughs> the kind of... <laughs> I think Cody took it away by not loving Christine. And then she had no choice but to go. Does she feel like you in some way has sabotaged her relationship? If she does, she's wrong. All I've ever been is supportive of her relationship with Cody. If not supportive, then definitely forceful, so. I'm gonna ask you one thing if you could say to Christine right now. Baby, come back. You can bend all on me. That's what she'd probably say. She'd probably sing to her. I wish that she would have let me in. I was right. Here, when we had this conversation, mm -hmm. I could tell Robin was heartbroken. Yeah, she you was. Know? <laughs> yeah, she was. She actually said the one thing that she wished you knew, she wanted you to let her in. I thought that I did. Um, recently, she hasn't really been opening up a relationship, but at the same time, it's not like there's been a space for a relationship to be, especially with Robin, with being with Cody, and my mom being in Utah. So I understand that like, there wasn't really a space for them to rekindle anything together. But initially, it did seem to me, like, before this whole divorce situation, it seemed to me that they had a pretty fine relationship. And every time my mom spoke of um, Robin, she only had good things to say. So to me, she let her in. I felt very betrayed by her and that she was leaving me too. It's not been super, super deep, but it's been a lot of fun. I've missed that for a lot of years. One point in your relationship, you guys were very close. At some point, something fractured. Why? Yeah. I don't know exactly. You know what you did. What did you do? I have not always been the perfect person. Like, we're just not safe with each other. Because you don't trust each other? Probably, yeah. Why do you think she thinks that way? Because I ended the friendship. Ooh, when was this? Was it the divorce? And I just told her straight up, I don't trust you. We tried a little bit in Vegas. It was before Vegas. Uh, her treatment of me wasn't nice. Okay, I think I know when it happened then. She is getting a divorce and this is how it's no. gonna be. At that moment, were you sure? Whereas Christine was. No, I wasn't as sure, but I should have been. Mm -hmm. Because Christine was moving on. She's smiling. Hey, I'm leaving. That's because she's looking forward to a future. Yeah, she's free. Like a bird. And I'm at that moment going, I screwed this up. I should have been more patriarchal. That was a dumb idea. I realize, Ugh. okay? Ugh, not patriarchy. And basically I said, if you want to be in the family, I'm going to be the head of the family. I have a very big picture. Will you understand that? Will you help me with it? And they're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, me, pick me, pick me. I mean, literally. Okay, they're compliant. We can make this work. It wasn't ever like that. I totally looked at him as head of our family. In a way, you do subscribe to patriarchy. Yeah. And but I also, I'm a strong, independent woman, and I can do whatever I want. You know, support me in that. But do those two fit in the same puzzle? Yeah, of course. But it's looking like they're not. <gasps> oh, looking like they're not. I think he's like, what I set out to do, it's not. It's I love that it's like, I set out, I've tried to prove, I, I'm like, we were all in this together, buddy. Oh. 
That was quick-witted. He's like, look, plural marriage is standing in the way of my personal progress. He said that to us one time. The only person that's really been in this relationship with him feels like Robin. Agreed. The way he wants his relationship to look, right? Right. That's not how we initially set it up. We were going to work together as a team to raise this family. And for a while they did. From what I see from the outside, it looks like Robin is willing to live that way. If that works for them, that's wonderful. Isn't faith one of the cornerstones to plural marriage? So I think a relationship is all kinds of things. Commitment, spirituality, compatibility. And fear, faith oftentimes is the only reason for plural marriage. Because like they can somehow convince themselves that that's the way that they have to go to be in heaven. How do you have a spiritual divorce? Usually our church, we have to go ask for a divorce. Yeah, but she doesn't believe in that church anymore. So what does divorce look like for you? You know, I think the biggest thing is that Christine no longer embraces the faith. In our church, you do have to go through channels. But Christine no longer believes in that. But Cody does still. But a, a contract is between two people. Exactly. Just because you believe you're with somebody doesn't mean you are with them. This goes into the afterlife, right? Yes. You guys are all bound to each other. In heaven, they're going to still be together? No, because... She said she's not going to heaven. So if she is with another man and has sex with another man, then all ties to Cody are completely... Period. Promiscuous girl. According to our beliefs, yeah. But does it really apply to Christine if she doesn't believe? I don't know. You can't make somebody abide by rules that they no longer believe in. I think this is Christine's thoughts according to Janelle. I think she's looking for that deep connection, that deep companionship. And she wants to be loved. She's looking for a partner. Ew. Oh, this coming up scene is grossing me out, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really consider myself married to Mary. If she wanted to move on and marry another, she wouldn't get an argument with me. I want this energy for my mom. How does that make you feel? It just doesn't make sense to me that he would be so frustrated with Christine. Then he says, no, I don't consider myself married to Mary. Yeah, he makes his whole deal ridiculous. Even since being in Flagstaff, he has led me to believe that he was trying. Cheers to a new beginning. This last anniversary, he's like, I don't even know why you called me Mary and I said to him don't you think that we should address that publicly he said that to her he said no I don't want it are you still married to Cody or do you get to decide well he's already made the decision you just saw him say that yeah I feel so bad for Mary like she was supposed to be this beautiful husband a wife team and now he's left her for the fourth woman he's been with. Did you know there was a moment in the past that thought about reconciling? And do you know the moment I'm talking about? I have no idea. Can you share what that gift was? Rice Krispie treats she makes. I told you! I told you how the Rice Krispie treats. They're so yummy. The expression was sweet and the mood that I was in was the right mood. And it's his favorite snack too, which is so convenient for her. Guess how many's in there? 18? You're such a dork. You're such a dork. Oh, our years of marriage. How many years have we been married? Are you serious? 31 years. 30. And they are amazing. She makes them like magic. Poor Mary, she said, are you serious? I was no longer angry with her for what I had gone through in my life with her. I was about to be like, why is he angry with her? And then I remembered the whole catfishing thing and I was like, oh, that's a pretty good reason. I expressed that, <sighs> baby. It's okay. Mary and I can work it out, maybe. And it just rattles Christine. Oh God, poor Suki. That must have felt weird. so weird. You know that there was an anniversary, anniversary. Mary gave me this really cool birthday present. Anniversary. Birthday present. Where you made Rice Krispie treats. He was so open to reconciling with you. That's interesting. The same day, you know, we went out on a picnic. I said, Cody, I've been waiting for you. He's like, I'm not coming. I put my arms around him and I said, what'd you do if I just kissed you right now? He was physically, he was backing up. He's like, I can't do that. It makes me feel good that he was considering it, but it didn't last through the evening. Disgusting. Wow. That is horrifying. God, poor Mary. She really tried so hard. More than he tried with my mom. He kind of mentioned that there was a family get together and that Christine found out about it and Christine balked at a reconciliation and that made him sort of reconsider. I don't know what you're talking about. I never knew about that moment with him and I never seen. <gasps> it's over. I don't really know if they can process like any one thing that happened during that time because there were just like a lot of like things and then it was the next thing and then the next thing and the next thing. And you know, like I didn't really have a lot of time to think about it or get deep into things. Um, there was one point, however, when he was like, I'm most scared of poverty. Okay, not surprising. But like when you think about it, it's weird. Like, that's my father. He should, he has 18 children. He had four wives 
and his biggest fear is poverty. Like, that's wild. I feel like I'd be fine with poverty, because, like, that's how I grew up for the first eight years. So not technically grew up, but, like, I've been in that. And I feel like he should probably be fine with poverty, because he's been through that. But the fact that he's afraid of what he's already been through, and something that he's so familiar with, I don't know. I didn't love it. It hurt my feelings a little bit. I was like, you're not afraid that your children are going to die and abandon you and stuff. Because, yikes. And it makes me think, like, once I'm, like, the successful psychiatrist lady, hearing that from him is, like, sh would he want to be back in my life for more than just if I became successful with money? Or would he want to be back in my life for me? Hurts my feelings a little bit. But anyway. So I kind of gave my patrons, like, two hours to ask the questions before I picked out which ones I'd be answering, so I was bad planning on my part. But uh, they, they seem, like, pretty well received. Like, these questions had about the same amount of likes as my usual questions, so it seems to me like this was an episode that people were, wait were waiting for. But I'll get into the questions now. Uh, Jen says, Does your father tell TLC what questions they're allowed to ask him during the tell-all? Those seem to avoid some of the hard questions that viewers would love to hear the answers to. I totally agree with that. I would have, like, the whole time I was watching, I was like, where are the, where are the hard-hitting questions? Where are the tough questions? I don't think that my dad tells TLC what questions they're not allowed to ask, but I feel like he probably, like, com might communicate he's, like, not comfortable with certain things. But the thing is, she said, is Robin the favorite wife? I'm pretty sure I saw that in, like, a coming up scene for the next episode or something. She said that. And he was like, that's such an offensive question to ask, but he seemed so appalled by that that I wouldn't think that he was telling them they're not allowed to ask certain questions. It was weird to me that she didn't ask like a lot of big questions people would actually be interested in. Then Surviving Pod, which I'm pretty sure is the Surviving Sister Wives podcast. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much bullshit was Cody full of with that? Mary gave me a really cool birthday present, so I wanted to reconcile with her until I listened to what Christine wanted instead for the first time in a marriage story. Don't expect you to know what happened, but how obvious was it to you that was making the entire story up on the spot given how well you know him? Him saying that like 30... Rice Krispie Treat somehow reconciled the relationship and made him want to be with her again doesn't seem accurate to me. I don't completely understand this question. I'm so sorry. But to me, I just understood it as he was in a good mood and she was pandering to him and making him happy and stuff. So suddenly he was like, okay, I'll listen to you. Uh, and I think that that's all it really was. And it wasn't that it was this beautiful gift because, I mean, to be fair, her Rice Krispie Treats could like save the world so i definitely get where he was coming from but i don't think that it really affected anything i think he was just in a good mood and i think he was just happy that somebody was giving him the kind of treatment that he wants katie says what's your reaction to the clip where cope d basically equates your mom to a pick me girl and is panting like a dog as a viewer it seems so disgusting and i can't ever imagine describing any woman like that it was so weird like just creepy i don't know like I was looking at it and I was like frozen and I didn't know what to say and I didn't know what to think and like a dog you know those are humans that's really dehumanizing he it's it seemed like he was behaving like the kind of man that calls women females and it, whoa, whoa, just it was horrifying and disgusting and really gross and um not completely surprising though unfortunately and the Princess D says, Why do you think Cody trashes his OG three wives publicly but rages if someone dares to even ask him a question about Robin? That's the big thing. Like, whenever I had a conversation with my dad a while back, he'd be like, Oh, you're not nice to Robin. And I'd be like, Robin's not nice to me. And then he'd be like, Robin is the sweetest, kindest person in the world. How dare you ever say anything like that? And in the same phone call, he'll trash all three of his other wives and he'll be like, your mom is such a terrible person and she's taking you away from me. Like, it's, it's wild. I just think it's because... Robin is upholding this patriarchy that he seems to think that is happening and Robin just like listens to him and I, I don't want to like trash her at all but like does what he wants at this point just to make herself and her children survive. Then Tanya Brown, do you believe that Christine had this big freak out that somehow prevented Cody from reconciling with Mary? I don't think that it prevented Cody from reconciling but I think it gave him a good excuse to be like oh it's her fault that we're not in a good relationship. To me, that's what it was. That, like, my mom had a problem, and so he decided to blame my mom for the issues that he's been having this whole time. Whew! All right. Those are all of the questions, the big questions for Season 17, Episode 15. And that's the first part of the tell-all. Please stay tuned for the next part of the tell-all, 2 and 3. And then those will be coming up on Fridays. Please like this video. Please subscribe if you're inter interested in those. And once those are over, I will start with the original seasons 
of Sister Wives, and I'm really nervous to see how this rest of this goes. But thank you so much for watching.